All right. It's Halloween. Can, can you make your scariest face? Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh, that's good. Scariest I face. like the teeth. Scariest Ooh, that's face. tough. Godzilla's no Very joke. Very good. Ooh, because we've scary. got scary to meet you when you come to the door, right? Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because you're going to have food, right? Everybody wants to eat. Why not make it theme sensitive to Halloween? A good idea, right? Of course, it's not mine because we have Sandra Lee, the host of Semi Homemade on the Food Network, the author of not one, not two, but three new cookbooks that are coming out. <laughs> yes. Three? That's scary <laughs> right there. That's a big workload. Well, there's a lot of recipes. <laughs> Boy, the fairy godmother and prolific author. So when you have the little monsters coming in here, you want to give them something mm -hmm. to eat, but it should be Halloween sensitive. What do you have for us? Well, when you don't have a lot of time on Halloween and most holidays, you don't have a lot of time. So you want to make it special and nutritious for the kids. You need to get some food in them before yeah. you give them all that sugar. So we're starting off with just some sweet and spicy eyeballs, which you just make your own meatballs, ground beef, some uh, an egg for binding, and also breadcrumbs. But look at what the eyeballs are. I Those like that. the olive with pimento. Mento as the eyeball. And you, to secure Very them, nice. you cook the meatball upside down so the eyeball is Good seared tip. into. And then the sauce, sweet and sour, is just jelly. Fun, huh? Uh -huh jelly it. and chili sauce. Very nice. So they are minutes. a little sweet and sour. It's very, and it does give it a very freaky look, which is nice. <laughs> He's like, those are eyeballs. Nice. the eyeballs, and the kids are like, no, <laughs> yeah, of course they don't. Right. But you're okay. You're I'm not great. afraid, right? See, I'm you're there. good. It's just food. It's just food. All right, now we have the bloody ladies' fingers. And we have some bloody ladies' fingers. I know it's Halloween. Well, you you got to make you, it fun. Did you think of this? Yes, I did. Because it's a deeper discussion. It's I'll a, tell you I know. Okay, so you're going to take just regular store bought bread dough or pizza dough, whatever you have in your fridge is going to be perfect with the kids. Okay. And then what I did is I got some ground Italian sauces. Now this is basil flavored. It's Johnsonville, but you want to roll it and make these sausage links just like this yourself. Okay. Ten minutes. And then what you want to do is just take your favorite marinara sauce, put that down first, then the sausage link goes inside. You roll that, bake it upside down. A blanched, this is just a blanched almond. They have to be blanched because if they're not, then your food dye won't stick to it, and oh, that is a red nail. I see, it's the tips. It's all about the tips. tips, isn't it? The blanched almond with the food dye, cooking it upside down. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very and then good. the bloody stump is more sauce. Oh, that's hey. nice. That's a nice touch, Sandy. That's but a think very... about how, how healthy that is. Oh, it is. It is. Not for the uh, emotional side, maybe, <laughs> but it's very tasty. And I like it. And then dragon's blood punch. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's good. This is just Hawaiian punch. Apple juice, then you're going to use just some cranberry juice and also some 7 Up or, you know, some maybe nice mix. fresca something, whatever you have sure. that's bubbly and sparkly. Ginger ale is great. And you mix them all together? You mix them all together. Well, you got something good here. Goblin dick over here, very easy to make. You have these recipes all online, and I even did popcorn balls and chocolate bones. I these are these great ideas. Bags. You know, these simple to make. It's like always, Sandy's formula is always the same. A great idea that you then make easy and accessible for us to do at home. It's all great semi ideas. homemade. Now let me ask you something. You have these three books coming out, the cookbooks, mm -hmm. but you also have a memoir coming out, which is a very different type of thing for you. Mm -hmm. It's not about food. It's deep. It's penetrating. It's personal. You didn't need to do a book like that. Why'd you do it? I did it because I think that, you know, a lot of times they see us on TV and people have one idea that, you know, we've always had everything given to us and that they can't do it too, meaning the home, mm -hmm. the person at home. And anybody can do anything they want. And it's supposed to be an inspirational story. It's my story. And, you know, I always joke I went from food stamps to the Food Network. <laughs> That's right. But there's, there's a reason why Semi Homemade was created to help the at-home mom homemaker, busy, over, uh, overstretched, be able to get it all done and feel good about herself. The story behind the success, bumps, bruises and all. Yep, that's cool. right. Well, that's, that's right. Going to be When's it but come out? It's coming out uh, today, I think. Oh, beautiful. This beautiful. is the now, tablescape. Is this? Now, oh, this okay. is about special and fun, and that's what Semi Homemade is Candy about. Cheese. Everything's special and fun. <laughs> so, easy, easy table. Now, you don't have to carve new pumpkins. Take them off the porch, not your neighbor's right. porch. Yes. <laughs> Put them on your table. Paper plates, candies, cute little favors. It little... looks great. Isn't it cute? Oh. Great pee. Oh. Oh, I like it. In New York City, you never th show a rat at any time. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Here comes the health inspector. This oh. is great. Great ideas. A beautiful, beautiful. table. Signature semi-homemade. Quick, easy, great. Happy Sandy, Halloween. thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Okay. Thank Happy you. Halloween. Happy Halloween, Halloween to all of you. To get the recipes and the ideas, go to abcnews.com. Also can read next up for the memoir. Have you ever wondered what Whoa. color a dinosaur tongue is? Let's see. Show them your tongue. What Jake color? Jake Come on, stick it tongue. out. You stick it right out. Right there it is. <laughs> <laughs>
Good Morning America is brought to you by Comfort Inn by Choice Hotels. Warm, welcoming, and worry-free. Book today at choicehotels.com. So we told you Gene Granada's a master pumpkin carver. Take a look. He's done, well, portraits. Look at that. Those are carved in pumpkin. That's amazing. I'm amazed, too. I'd like to wear that on my head a couple of mornings here. Thank you, Gene. All right, everybody, are you all ready with your really scary faces? Uh-oh. Are you ready with them? Okay, let's see your scariest face. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, that does it for me. Whoa. And do you have a scary face? <laughs> scary face. <Hi. laughs> He's laughing. I think a giggle is not. Who's got a faces. really, truly scary face for tonight? Yes, let's see it. Who else has got a scary face scary back there? Face. Ooh, I like Anybody the crinkled else? nose. We're, we're the... happy princesses, though, right? We're Get ready. Scary. Your doorbell's going to ring. Happy Halloween, everybody. Want to wave? Bye. Bye. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Bye.